Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Animal Crossing. Yes, as you can see, well, it's pretty late. It's 3.53 p.m. of course, and we got some mail, so let's see what we have here. We got a letter from Hypeyot. Yo, that birthday gave, gift you gave me is like something I give myself. Yep, it was that good. It almost weird. That you could know exactly what I wanted. Wait, have you been spying on me? Two of those from Hypeyox. Okay. 
We wish to express our gratitude for your continued use of the Nuke Stop and the Nuke Miles program. The item you claim via our redemption service is attached to this message. Thank you. And we got something from Nuke Shopping, of course. And we got something from Kevin. Keep fighting, Racer. My muscles have been especially sore lately, but that's a sign that I'm getting stronger, right? I can't wait to see how much they've grown once this soreness is go. Go Team Kevin. <laughs> team Kevin. Great. Okay, so let's go and check out the stores. As you can see, LaBelle is here, so let's go to LaBelle first, actually. Oh, we meet again! You know, there's still so much to learn about the sign here on a French. In fact, I wonder if maybe you might help me with a little style exercise. It goes like this. I'll call out a specific faction theme and you change into an outfit that matches that theme. Okay, we know LaBelle. Wonderful, thank you so much. Let's get to it. Sporty outfit. Okay. That will be pretty easy. <laughs> Kung Fu tea. Okay, LaBelle, we know, we know. So she gave us a Kung Fu tea, but... I'm pretty sure I have a full... Sports outfit, if I remember correctly. Hmm... I'm pretty sure I do have something, let's see. Already okay. Dress up. Oh yeah, wrestling singlet. We got that. But if we go to something sporty, sporty. We got the workout top. Oh yeah, we got a sports tank. Okay, I think we have the sport shorts also. Outdoor soccer. Yeah, got soccer shorts. And now a hat. Can yeah, we can mix and match? Can we go batter's helmet or football helmet? Uh, let's go with the batter's helmet. And in terms of accessories, of course, the sporty shades. Go with green ones. Um, socks. Let's go with the no shows here. And of course, we have to go with high tech sneakers. Because that's super sporty. And yeah, I know this thing looks weird, but hey, that's what we have. Oh yeah, I think I have basketball shoes, don't I? Do I have basketball shoes? Hmm, pretty sure I have basketball shoes. I have high tops, but basketball. Oh, I'm pretty sure I had some. Huh, wonder what happened to them. Oh yeah, basketball shoes, here they are. And in terms of backpacks, tackle bag, that is pretty sporty right there. I mean, fishing is a sport, so it should count. So we are a basketball player with a uh, with soccer shorts and a baseball helmet and some shades and we're also a fisherman so we're pretty sporty actually we're super sporty 
You know, that reminds me of a guy in high school that used to, like, the guy was into all the freaking sports, but he was never good at any of them. Yeah, <laughs> it's actually pretty funny. I see you change clothes. Can I take a look at the outfit you came up with? Sure. Oh good, let's see it then. Uh huh. Wonderful, that's exactly! The condemnation of clothing radiates the perfect sporty look. There's just so much I can learn from your sense of style, thank you! I'm going to send you a thank you gift for your home. Remember to use tailor tickets in the tailor shop, okay? And please take this too. I made it with my own two paws. Oh, we got socks. It's an artist sign from my label. Some LaBelle socks. Hope you like the style. This is a new design I just finished. I'm planning to have it sold at the tailor shop. Well, I'm looking forward to seeing you again. Thank you for being so very helpful. Okay, cool. So we got the socks from her. That is nice. I honestly wanted something else, but whatever, I'll take it. Let's see what they're selling here. Ooh. Let's check this out. Office desk. You know what? I'll take it. But I really want this disc. Wow, we need to get money for that. I'll get it later. Okay, fortune telling set. Okay, I want this. That's really gonna add some spookiness to my town. Let's get the candy, of course. Let's go to Abel. But yeah, I'm gonna put those fortune teller cards somewhere spooky. I'm just gonna actually I'm just gonna put them over here. There's a table right here. That's where they're gonna go. Let's see. Okay. Oh, so the candle just lights up? Okay, I was expecting it to be a bit better, but whatever. The pumpkin there. That looks pretty cool. Okay, let's go to Abel's. Let's see what they're selling. Why are you buying? Why are you selling? Why are you trading? Oh my god, I just saw the item that I want to get for quite a while. Okay, check out the tops. We have an explorer shirt. We're gonna be picking one of those up. We got the rubber apron. I'm guessing we'll be picking that up too. And... Ah, uh, nothing in the pants department. But on dress up, the robes. This is why I wanted the Magic Academy robes and I want them in red of course because I'm gonna make a costume and I'm gonna need it. Now headwear, I'll take this of course. Um, nothing in the chase department. Socks, mm. darn it, if they had them black, that would be awesome but they don't. 
So, shoes, boots, nothing that I really want, okay. I have to remember to get the freaking explore. Explore shirt, I really wanted this one. And the flower apron. That's really what we're missing. And like I said before, they need to give just give you a bag and put everything in there and that's it. See if there was anything else. Nope. We're good. Maybe I'll get one of these vivid tights. Just have them. Yeah, we're good. Nothing else. Okay, we're good. Oh, let's talk to her. It's so sort of silly since I'm inside the shop all day, but sunny weather helps me work faster. Or maybe it's just I'm making sure it sleeves. Darn! Sucks that she doesn't say anything new now. It's basically the same stuff, she's on repeat. Okay, now let's go and check out what's here. Another birthday? Hey everybody, on October 24th, we'll be saying happy birthday to Snooty. Snooty. So prepare those party hats and get into the celebration spirit, folks. Darn, birthday after birthday. That's interesting. Everybody's like in freaking October. What, somebody's gonna be happy birthday on Halloween? I know someone that will. <laughs> Monochromatic tile wall. Okay, I'll take this. I'll have to check that out. Yes, give me my bonus. Okay, and spiky fans. Ah, everything here is just the same stuff. Hey, okay, we don't need any from that. Honestly, I don't know why I bothered checking. I have to wait for some, for an update to actually come out and be like, oh yeah. I have the peel, so nothing. We just waste waste our our time there. Let's go back home. Let's go back home, check the gifts that we got, and then um, check out that monochromatic wall. That sounds really interesting. Hopefully something nice is not something crappy. And yeah, like I just said before, I don't really need to buy any Halloween stuff except for the candy. Already have all the other stuff. So let's check out that wall. Uh, I was expecting something better. Let's put this in storage, this too, this also, and this. Okay. Got rock and KK. Let's check how the presents. Flower sunglasses. Ah, same ones you can get from the store. And the soccer goal. So yeah, nothing major here. Nothing that we can say, oh my god, that was a game changer. No, nothing. So yeah. Since there's nothing else to do, I'll meet you guys at night time, so be right back.
Well guys, not much to do tonight, of course, um, but as you can see here, yeah, I have a hat, it's called the Outdoor, the Outback hat, Outdoor hat, Outback hat, so yeah, as you can see here, I have quite a lot of cowboy stuff, which is great, I don't have the pants sadly, but I can show you a few things that I got, I actually went to my sister's island and... Well, there was waiver stuff. Ecker Abel sister that wasn't mine. One of the things that I want to show you, like right off the freaking bat. Um, let me see where it is. Gosh, don't make him find it now. Yeah, the Magic Academy road. The road they had it. And I was like, oh my god, they had it. So, got that. Um, got the hat, of course. And what was the other thing that I got? Oh, yeah. Got the Cyber Shades. Because they're pretty darn cool. You know, Jordy <laughs> from Star Trek. Man, I don't know why they got rid of the Shades. Yeah, they got. They were like, oh, let's, you know, make him be able to see again. And as you can see here, the cowboy boots, of course, I'm pretty sure I already had them. I didn't get that. Oh, wait, it's been a couple hours, so yeah. Short term memory. But uh, now, you know, I'm happy I found this stuff, but you know, hopefully tomorrow my island will have better stuff than yours. And I did buy something on my island that I teased you guys this morning, this afternoon, I mean, this morning, oh please, no, this afternoon. And yes, as you can see here, the man cave is really looking big and nice and you have the pool table, of course, which is looking really darn awesome. And still, I don't know how I can fix the freaking 
arcade machine is glaring like that. I don't know why that happens, but whatever I'm guessing. Um, no new wallpaper, no new floors. Or there was actually nothing over there that was like, hey, look at that. But I have more pumpkins that I can do stuff with them. We already have 19 candy, which is pretty good considering it's the 16. So we're on the right track for that. Still need to find the torso for this guy, which I think is also the head. I think it's only two pieces. And of course we need more rusted parts, but I don't wanna fuck up Gujivar, Gujivar, because I want the items. So, yeah, if you mess up and you just get the pieces or you just keep the communicator and just wait until the next day, then it turns, it gives you five rusted parts. But I want the items. I, I, I want the items. I don't, I, I want to make the big super robot, but. I want the items first. Uh, let me show you guys. Let's see what else do I have here. That I can show you. You guys haven't seen. There's not a lot, honestly. Power generator. I actually tested it out. It sounds loud as fuck. It's not worth it. It's really freaking annoying. So, yeah. I also got a... She also had the basketball and the football. I like how it's just called ball. It's this, you know, kind of like a reference to Lamar Ball and they went like ball. <laughs> that would be pretty interesting. Um, but yeah, I want to make like a basketball court and a football field and that stuff. But I haven't found any designs that I like. So it's one of those things, you know. But, darn. Um, like I told you guys, not a lot of stuff to do during the freaking night anymore. You guys saw earlier that I found the lost item and gave it back, and that was pretty much it. And in terms of designs and people, you know, coming to visit the town or the island, whatever you want to call it, there was not. Nothing really going on here, so hopefully tomorrow there is stuff to do a lot more than we're normally doing. So yeah, that's how Animal Crossing works. Ah, uh, I do wish they would add more stuff. I mean, like, come on, it's something, it's something that I've been thinking. I was talking to my sister about this. The prices for these items are really expensive. Like the billiard was seventy seven thousand. And this was like 60,000 bells. Something tells me that they're gonna do an update and they're gonna let you play the game. Something tells me because she had a chessboard in her store that was 95,000 bells. Why is it so expensive? These items didn't used to be that expensive in the other games. Something tells me that they might do an update for that. And if you think they haven't done it before, play the first game. Play the first game and get the Nintendo games. Yeah, Animal Crossing, the first one, had... Uh, you could get NES with different games and you could actually play the games. Now, I don't remember if there were the full games. Or part of the games, I think they were the full games um, because this, we're talking GameCube, so I think they might do something now. I don't think they'll do the same for the arcade machines, but I think for this they will. And the balls, because if you remember in the original Animal Crossing, there was sports day and you could play different types of sports with different balls, so. I think there might be an update like that. I, I could see this board game being an actual board game. I, I could see that and that would add so much to the game because you would be like, okay, 
uh, let's say I'll invite Kevin and I want to play Ke with Kevin and I invite Kevin to my house and I'm like dude let's play some um, billiards, let's play some foosball, let's play some table tennis, let's play a board game. Imagine, imagine that! Imagine if they have like a board game night every Saturday. Saturday or Sunday, the, the, the day that KK doesn't come in. And like you set it up and you go to like wonder houses or they come to you and you set the whole thing up and you actually play a full board game there. That would be, that would be epic. That would be pretty awesome. And they can do it. They can do it. Uh, I don't see no reason not to do it. Other games have done it. So yeah. That would be very freaking interesting to play these games and all that. Imagine the dark game as well. You know, there, there's so much stuff. There's so much possibilities that they can do. And darn, would love to see more, more engagement, more engagement. Because the thing is, this is already what we have: the original Animal Crossing, we have um, Wild World. We had City Folk, we had um, New Leaf. So this is number five, basically. So I think it's time, I think it's time that they do that. I think it's time, I don't think we have to wait for Animal Crossing a new world that will, or a whole new world that will probably be the name of the next one. You know, I wouldn't be surprised if that one was full open world, you know, like um, Breath of the Wild. That's why I say we might see something like that coming here. I wouldn't be surprised if they add the city on this one. They go like, a, oh, a city island, and they add like a resort island and stuff like that. That would be very interesting. So, yeah, I think that's it. Uh, I think I ramble a little bit too much. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please like, comment, and subscribe for more. And I'll see you guys next time.